Child daycare remains a vital necessity for working parents, especially as more are returning to work. But limited space could be an issue for some preschools. Max Rodriguez has more. Many preschools and child daycare locations did not shudder over the state's COVID-19 emergency proclamation. Now more are reopening while demand increases. St. Mark's Preschool with Kama'aina Kids stayed open for the kids of essential workers. They follow the state's safety guidelines. We do the health checks every morning, temperature checks. We do um, the hand washing. We do all of that. But, you know, along with that, we've had to do a lot of um, sanitizing, um, and disinfecting, making sure that we're using gloves. Governor Iga's latest proclamation allows all other child care centers to reopen following CDC guidelines. Child care providers could apply for funding to cover cleaning and sanitation. The $11.9 million funding was directed to the state through the CARES Act. This particular effort is exclusively focused on stabilizing and supporting child care providers across the state. The entire facility will need to be deep cleaned before opening and groups will be limited to nine kids per aid. The current guidance from CDC and across the country, that's what all child care facilities are looking at. I am absolutely aware that this is not going to be sufficient as our economy continues to reopen in an incremental fashion. The Department of Human Services director says as more industries reopen, their guidance will adapt. But with more parents calling already, space at St. Mark's is already limited. I think changing the ratios is really going to have a bigger impact on, on um, families going back to work um, and finding child care. Max Rodriguez, K2 News, working for Hawaii.